Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics, Invasion of the Heavens, Wanda and Gwen were shocked. Chapter 16. Except Iron Man, he's still Tony Stark. Now, the biological modification technology he controls is most likely something more peaceful than nuclear weapons. When the situation is unclear, rashly provoke him. There's no need to be in such a hurry to dig your own grave. Rose's cold gaze reminded everyone present of the fear of being dominated. Tony Stark, he is not a helpless little transparent person, but a chable with strong capital, and has the strength of a superhero. Definitely not a soft persimmon. Using righteousness to force him to bow his head doesn't work at all. The only suggestion was rejected instantly, and the conference room fell into dead silence again. Invasion. Otherworld. The old general stared at the darkened screen, as if he wanted to see the future of the Empire from it. Shield. Fortunately. Luckily, it's Tony. Nick Fury looked at the final result, his expression slightly relieved. Not Natasha Romanoff though. However, he could barely accept Tony's words. Nick Fury, who has been secretly paying attention to Tony's character, said he is very sure. At least this technology will not be abused to conduct large-scale human experiments. The greater probability is to directly seal it. It was far more reassuring for him than putting it in the hands of other careerists. And, Tony's strength can barely maintain this skill, and there will be no thunderstorms in a short time. Compared to the future threats of, Resident Evil. What he cares more about is. In front of you, sure enough, is this just the beginning? Nick Fury's heart sank. One eye looked at the screen. The recruiter returned, and the screen disappeared, turning into a black live broadcast screen. I don't know when, but a countdown quietly appeared, along with a few lines of subtitles. The first round of invasion is completed. Related world biohazard, frozen. The second round of invasion is about to begin. Countdown. 48 hours. Will this so-called otherworld invasion be forced to happen in two days? Nick Fury frowned. Try to get as much information as possible from the text. If given a choice, he would definitely not want something out of his control to appear in the world. But, when things have become a foregone conclusion, what he can do is to take the lead as much as possible and give S.H.I.E.L.D. an advantage in the wave of the times. At least, they're off to a great start. Nick Fury glanced at the Black Widow next to him, feeling somewhat comforted. All that needs to be done now. Try to decipher the, six naval styles as much as possible, teach them to other agents, and arm their core direct descendants. Asgard. Technology that infects life forms and turns them into monsters. Odin frowned on the throne. Looking at the entire universe, this method is not uncommon. Many interstellar forces have similar biological modification methods to create biological weapons for use in battle. They Asgard are just not keen on this type of method. Not that unusual. The only thing that stands out is the speed of infection and the method of genetic recombination. Compared to these, what Odin cares more about is what he represents behind him. The peaceful world is being bombarded with bombs one after another. The chaos in Midgard is already foreseeable. Have no idea how many careerists will be born this time. There was a bit of pity in Odin's eyes. After getting old, the god king who was decisive in killing also became kind. But, it is precisely because of old age that the source of life is close to drying up. Only then would Odin put down his ambitions, turn a blind eye to the chaos in the Nine Realms, and focus on Asgard. The only thing that matters is the inheritance of the God King. But, his son, Thor, Odin sighed deeply, his expression a little lonely. Looking deeply through the Golden Hall, he soon saw another place in the Divine Realm. Snort. What an evil and despicable force. Thor frowned in disgust. He is completely disdainful of such things that distort the flesh and blood of living things. Even extremely disgusted, I wish I could smash them all with Mjolnir and destroy them all. Evil. Stupid brother, power never distinguishes evil. Loki, who was hiding behind the pillar, curled his lips, disapproving of Thor's words. The tyrant's physical strength is no less than that of ordinary Asgardians, let alone Tony who crushes the tyrant. Loki, who has been teased for his physical weakness since he was a child, is definitely interested in this kind of power. The next round of invasion. It's really exciting. Loki smiled slyly. 
His emerald eyes looked at the time on the screen with a strange color. Countdown. 45 hours and 30 minutes. Kamar Taj. Power from other worlds. The Ancient One, wearing a plain yellow robe, slowly raised his head. The changes in Tony and Black Widow have allowed her to confirm the authenticity of the invasion of Otherworld. Those powers. It is very different from the rules of the world, and it is definitely not something that this world can breed. I haven't even seen it in other parallel worlds. But, compared to other magicians, apprentices feel curious and longing. Her heart is somewhat complicated. A completely unknown timeline, is it good or bad for the world? Ancient One looked up at the sky. On the dark screen, time keeps jumping, apparently not suspended by human will. Countdown. 43 hours and 25 minutes. The far side of the moon. Invade. Otherworld. System. Something I haven't heard of appears. In the lonely circular pit, intermittent bass sounds sounded, as if just waking up from a deep sleep. Somewhere in the universe. Inside the super large space fleet. Clear civilians, reduce consumption, purify the race. Another way to clean up the world. Thanos's rich voice echoed in the hall. He held his chin with one hand and leaned on the armrest, as if he was thinking about something. Perhaps, things that bother him can be inspired by other worlds. The world is in turmoil. Following the gazes of each big boss. New York, it seems to be about to become the center of the universe. But, these things, Sushu didn't care at all. His attention was entirely on the system in front of him. Big catch, big catch, I made a lot of money this time. Sure enough, leaks are the way to go. Sushu, who was lying down, was beaming. On the system panel, various rewards flashed across the screen. Shield agent Carl's, gained 50 points. During the hundredfold increase, dot the host gains 5000 points. Black Widow, get 200 points. During the hundredfold increase, dot the host gains 20,000 points. Su Shu, who has a lot of money, said that he no longer takes it seriously. Only special rewards can make him pay a little attention. Black Widow obtains Navy 6th style. During the hundredfold increase, dot the host obtains the 6 secrets. Iron Man obtains Biomodification Technology BOW. Increasing 100 times. The host obtains perfect T-virus transformation technology. Su Shu blinked. A row of special abilities appeared on his system panel. Astonishingly, it was the harvest of Tony's possessions that had been multiplied a hundred times. T-virus biological weapon preparation. Perfect version. Gene modulation map. Cerberus, Neptune, Hunter, Liquor, Tyrant, Nemesis, Ivy, unlocked. Note. The improved biological weapons have low intelligence. And obey the host's instructions unconditionally. Loyalty max. Can be exempted from psychic super ability control. Different from the defective version that Tony got. There are only zombie dogs, Aquaman stars, liquors, a few of the most basic zombie beasts. The powerful monsters in the later period all require a little bit of research on their own. And it is far away, and I don't know how much time it will take. Sushu's increased ability directly fills up the progress bar. Even the ace of the Umbrella Company, the Nemesis, and the most famous Tyrant are all recorded. There are various versions of Tyrants, and there are many zombie beasts that have undergone multiple metamorphosis. And, the most important thing is that it is completely controllable. Don't worry, this power becomes a double-edged sword, hurting others and yourself. The zombie beasts created by Sushu all have the highest loyalty and can be used as cannon fodder. Um, it seems like it can be realized directly using points. Sushu raised her eyebrows. I discovered my exclusive privilege again. 100 points can be exchanged for a complete body of the tyrant. Other modified objects and aberrations are also priced at the same price and are treated equally in front of the system. As long as the points are enough. Sushu can summon a biochemical army composed of modified bodies in minutes. An army of hundreds of leather-clad tyrants can even destroy some small countries. But, he obviously can't be that stupid. You can imagine how valuable the points are. Tony and the others have worked so hard and only have a thousand points. How can they use such precious things to attack the army and join the army? These points, it was enough for him to set up the framework of a biological laboratory. 
With the biological laboratory as the core basis, as long as there are enough materials, tyrants can be produced continuously. This is the correct way to explode troops. The exchange for non-extraordinary powers, materials, and systems is very cheap, as if it costs nothing. And, in addition to biomodification technology, I didn't expect that Tony actually brought this thing out. Su Xu raised her eyebrows, a little surprised. He raised his eyes slightly and looked at another thing emitting a faint light on the system panel. This, really exceeded his expectations. Gave him a big surprise. Stark industrial building. Bring it out. Tony lowered his head in surprise and looked at the half piece of defective metal in his hand. After coming out of invasion world the original injuries on the body were healed by the system when they were bathed in golden light and returned to the state before they traveled. Tony wiped the blood on his body casually, his eyes glued to the thing in his hand and unable to move away. Artificial Intelligence Red Queen At the last moment, when he was about to teleport out, the thing he could hold in his hand happened to be the Red Queen smart module. And the cost of bringing it back. That is, the B-level evaluation medal is his first place reward. It was precisely because of this that Tony realized that if he wanted to take away props and abilities from the invaded world, he would have to consume evaluation medals to convert them. Prostitution for nothing. Doesn't exist at all. It's a pity, only half of it is left. Tony shook his head, with some regret in his eyes. Due to the previous violent shutdown, a lot of the smart module was destroyed. I am lucky to be able to save only half of it. And, compared to broken smart modules. For Tony, the more precious thing is actually the artificial intelligence Red Queen on the boarding module. As well as, stored in the, Red Queen, the remaining umbrella companies, scientific and technological information, research materials. This is why it deserves a B-level rating. J-A-R-V-I-S. Swallow its computing power, program. Tony spoke decisively. He already has J-A-R-V-I-S. He definitely does not need another artificial intelligence. He can directly devour and digest it, complete the operation logic of J-A-R-V-I-S, and add computing power, which is the most valuable thing. Yes, sir. Tony changed his mind and directly received the technological gift from another world. Tisk. Tony is really a thief. He secretly took over the umbrella company's technology tree. Sushu smacked her lips. There was a hint of smile in his eyes. With a hundredfold increase, Sushu hopes that Tony and the others will reach the sky in one fell swoop. The more the recruiter earns, the more terrifying the rewards he gets. You may make a lot of money. But I will never lose. Ding. Iron Man gets the defective version of Artificial Intelligence Red Queen. With a hundredfold increase. Dot the host obtains Virtual Intelligence Red Queen. Virtual Intelligent Red Queen, he is a ghost that is separated from material existence and a god who lives on the internet. Wandering in the invisible information, with extremely strong learning ability, giving him unlimited growth attributes, given time, he will be able to do anything. Note. Always loyal to the host and perform any tasks unconditionally. Buzz. On the bright TV, a red light suddenly projected. Crimson light flashed in the air. She transformed into a girl wearing a dress, with skin as smooth as cream. The bright red dress made her snow white skin even more charming. In her hand with lace gloves, she held a short handled scepter inlaid with gems. Wearing a crown, sitting on the throne, elegant and alienated, like a proud white swan. The scarlet eyes like jewels are filled with aloof indifference. Owner, the Red Queen is at your service wholeheartedly. The queen-like beauty bowed her head towards Sushu and bowed her proud head. Her long golden white hair slid down her silky skin, like a golden waterfall. Crown. Only bow to one person. The arrogant queen would only restrain her majesty and act like a woman in front of Sushu. The indifferent eyes were also dyed with fanatical loyalty. Hong. Queen. Sushu's expression was a little strange. Why is she a domineering queen? This is not very similar to what was said in the original work. Red Queen. Shouldn't it be a little girl? Red. Red Queen. No. Red Queen. Sushu spoke hesitantly. Have to say, although the current appearance of the Red Queen is different from the little girl in the movie, it is quite in line with his aesthetics. She has fair skin, beautiful appearance, sweet voice, and most importantly, figure. That's a compliment. 
Su Xu nodded secretly, with a calm expression on his face. The current image of the Red Queen is calculated through big data simulation to calculate the one that the owner is most likely to accept. If the owner doesn't like it, it can be replaced again. A soft voice sounded, not like a machine at all. Awesome, my paper figurine wife. Su Xu shook her head, forget it, there's no need. Red Queen. Ah, let's forget it. Call me the Red Queen. This one is more convenient. Su Xu smacked her lips. Anyway, what Tony got was just fragments, and they were already used as information and digested by JARVIS. There was no need to worry about the issue of the same name. It would be more convenient to call her the Red Queen herself. As you command, Master, the title has been entered. The Red Queen leaned forward and nodded, completely taking on his shape. Su Xu spoke directly to the core, what can you do now? If the Master releases the authority, the Red Queen can put the global network under surveillance within three days, and the network will become your vision and sharp edge. As long as the network is not controlled by artificial intelligence, it can complete coverage, monitor without alerting them, artificial intelligence, dot can also quickly invade and break through. There is no place in this world that can stop me. The Red Queen spoke calmly, as if it was just a trivial matter. This is also true. The virtual intelligent version of the Red Queen, the technology is at least 100 years away from the present, and the proper information ghost. An epic making product that is not on the same level at all. If we hadn't taken into account the various unreasonable scientists and treasures in the Marvel world. With the current technology of the Red Queen and the learning speed of the intelligent brain, it is easy to directly build Skynet and monitor the whole world. Um, then first take control of New York where I am. Su Xu nodded. I can finally open the big map and don't have to worry about my eyes going dark. Pity. The system will have to wait for another two days before the next round can be refreshed. Su Xu rubbed her hands with some regret on her face. Having experienced the joy of rapidly improving his strength, he can't wait to look forward to the next harvest. It's just an invasion. Let him be reborn, directly from fighting against the five scum, into a real strong man. Now. The main line of Marvel has just begun, and it has not yet reached the middle stage of Rampage. Dormammu, Ancient One, Odin, Mephisto. The bosses of Level Godfather are basically in Shenyan, which is equivalent to the background board, and will not end easily. There are a few active early superheroes left. With the cooperation of several abilities, Sushu is really not afraid of them. The perfect version of ability is not just talk especially when he has a huge amount of points as a basis. I don't even know how strong I am. Have to say. Su Xu was a little swollen. I just don't know. What kind of world will the next round of invasion be? Su Xu leaned her head and thought. His eyes fell on the system panel, where the countdown numbers kept beating. Every time the system launches an invasion, it is extracted by him personally. Even Su Xu himself cannot guess it before anchoring and capturing it. However, the ceiling of force in the Marvel world is high enough. Should. He won't stumble so easily, which will affect his ability to win and become stronger. Maybe. Su Xu touched his head and chin and said with some uncertainty. Shield. Headquarters. The Top Secret Research Institute. Tread. 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 The sound of Xu souls hitting the ground echoed in the empty underground hall. The voice was urgent and rushed. High-level researchers are all busy shuttling in front of different operating desks. The most central. Black Widow was dressed in a smart outfit, and she used the Navy 6 type to her fullest under various detections. Various parameters of the test results were constantly emerging on the surrounding electronic instruments. Director. Preliminary testing has been completed. According to Natasha Romanoff, the sixth form of the Navy should come from Otherworld. It is a special technique used by a certain navy to arm its troops and improve their combat ability. It's not a mutant ability, it can be taught to others. Nick Fury just got out of the elevator. Phil Coulson walked quickly towards him with a large pile of documents in his arms. Can it be taught? Nick Fury's eyes lit up. However, before he could be happy, he quickly noticed Phil Coulson's complicated expression. What's the flaw? Nick Fury whispered. It's physical strength. Phil Coulson spoke with difficulty, his expression a little ugly. The sixth marine style is a physical skill that exceeds the limits of the human body. 
It cannot be performed casually. Although it can impart learning, our bodies cannot control it at all. In the high-level agent, after the initial screening, only five or six people barely met the requirements, and after practicing one move at most, their bodies couldn't hold on anymore. They couldn't be like Natasha Romanoff at all. Phil Coulson shook his head. This kind of physical skill is too powerful and cannot be learned by ordinary people. Those who can practice one move are already one in a million. If you want to master them all, unless you are a physical type mutant, it is simply impossible. Is it limited by physical fitness? Nick Fury looked thoughtful, as if he was thinking about something. It seems, some of the plans in his mind must be implemented as soon as possible. A special team composed of people with super abilities. The Avengers. Tony being entangled by the military may be a good opportunity. Stark Industrial Building. Gentlemen. Military Communications. Requesting a call from you. Are you connected? On the screen, the voice of J.A.R.V.I.S. came. Reject. Tony was buried in the console without even raising his head. Hey, those fat pig heads are really running out of fun. Tony pouted. There was a bit of disdain and disgust on his face. But, he had more important things to deal with than those annoying scum. J.A.R.V.I.S. How's it going, sir? The integrate has been initially completed and the information related to the smart module. Red Queen, is being digested. Discovered a large number of umbrella company technology. Relevant biotechnology has been deciphered. Loading. As the voice of J.A.R.V.I.S. sounded. On the electronic screen, a large amount of data swept out, and the torrent of data sloped rapidly like a waterfall. Tony's eyes lit up. He quickly buried his head inside and started fighting. They are all unfamiliar technologies, and they are quite advanced. They are completely different from the technologies in this world. For a top scientist like him, they are definitely treasures that cannot be exchanged for anything. Tony soon started studying it eagerly. This weapon can be loaded on the Mark battle suit. This technology can enhance the battery life of the battle suit. This metal can increase the defense of Mark's battle suit. Tony murmured softly, his eyes shining. Tonight. It's destined to be another sleepless night. He can only temporarily ignore the beauties on the west coast. Hydra. The sound of human activities suddenly sounded in the long abandoned base. Metropolis. Batman stepped off the Batmobile, walked straight into a pizza shop, and picked up a particularly strong man. Clark, we have to do something. A bar somewhere. The mission of invading the world, sounds super cool. There should be a lot of bounty. Deadpool, with two knives stuck in his back, was lying on top of a beautiful woman, muttering to himself in a state of drunkenness. Although the first round of world invasion is over, the live broadcast screen has also ended. But, the repercussions it triggered have only just begun. It was like pouring a basin of cold water on an already boiling oil pan. Moment. The tide surged, boiling and filling the sky. Not only the controllers of major forces and careerists, but also superheroes and supervillains, also danced. Under the seemingly peaceful world, there have long been countless undercurrents. The situation continues to intensify. However, these, it has nothing to do with Su Shu. After receiving the reward, he fell asleep directly. After experiencing such ups and downs, although the body is not affected, the mental pressure is not small. After gaining the power to protect himself, he finally no longer had to sleep or eat uneasily. Therefore, he slept peacefully. This was the first time he slept so soundly since time travel. Until, bang bang bang, open the door, open the door quickly. The sound of knocking on the door woke someone from his sleep. What's the situation? Su Xu struggled to get up, and her eyes were a little dazed when she opened them, as if she hadn't woken up. Something's wrong. Is there someone? Why would someone come looking for me? Could it be? Discovered. Su Xu's pupils shrank, alarm bells rang in her heart, and she suddenly woke up from a state of half asleep. It's definitely not the landlord. I just paid my rent a few days ago and it sounded completely different from this. He was wearing clothes and had been staying in the apartment. Apart from the landlord, he had no acquaintances here at all, and there were no friends coming to the door. Bang bang bang. It's so late, you haven't gotten up yet, right? Open the door soon. Just when Su Xu hesitated, the knocks at the door became more frequent. 
Could it be shield? When did their reaction speed change so quickly? But the sound doesn't sound like it. Su Xu's heart tightened, and her body was as tight as a spring. The newly mastered sixth form of the navy has already accumulated its strength and is ready to go. Even the system panel is called up by him, and he can redeem points at any time to create an army of T078 tyrants. Armed to the teeth, he slowly walked towards the door with suspicious eyes. Click. The door lock opens. So big, no, so white. The door has just opened. A beautiful woman with an eye-catching figure rushed in with a ball and a lot of things in her hand. Girl, or a beautiful woman, but, she doesn't look like Natasha Romanoff. Is there such a beautiful woman in S.H.I.E.L.D.? Sushu had seen the appearance of Black Widow during the system live broadcast. Obviously different from the beautiful woman in front of me. It's also hard to take your eyes away. However, in addition to her exaggerated figure, the woman at the door obviously had a youthful air. It's like, summer beach sunshine. Brilliant, and gorgeous. I'm Gwen, and you must be Su Xu's eldest cousin. Dad asked me to come and see you. Gwen rushed in with the ball. He put the pile of things in his hands aside and looked at Su Xu with familiarity. Shaked his head. While her hair was flying, her face was also exposed. She has very fair skin, big eyes like gems, deep eye sockets and a bridge of nose. She has a standard western beauty look. She wears a short-sleeved top and jeans underneath. The simple outfit perfectly interprets the word, youthful. Tight short sleeves can't restrain that abundant capital at all. What senior fan can't help but exclaim when he sees it? But, compared with her youthful appearance and exaggerated figure, Su Xu is more concerned about this. Big cousin. Su Xu looked embarrassed. When did he have a cousin? He is wearing it, not his soul. He's sure. The current body is definitely his own, not someone else's. Where did the eldest cousin come from? And. The name Gwen. In addition, the other party's eye-catching figure and, vaguely impressive strength within his body. Could this be, a female Spider-Man? Su Xu always thought that she was traveling through time in the Marvel Universe number. 616. Spider-Man shouldn't be a chatty little bug, but why did he become Gwen? Spider-Woman, Gwen Stacy. Hey, it's me. Cousin, do you know me? Have you seen my photo? Gwen blinked, her fair face flushed. Don't look at her calm appearance. There were already waves in my heart. Did not expect. My eldest cousin is so handsome. Humph, dad didn't tell me in advance. If I had known earlier, I would have changed my clothes. I shouldn't have dressed so casually. Gwen gritted her silver teeth, feeling a little unhappy. Because he was so close to Su Xu, strong male hormones rushed over him like a substance. Gwen felt a little heated and her face turned crimson. Honestly, before Su Xu traveled through time, his appearance was above average, barely a handsome boy. But, the genetic optimization of the T-virus transformation gave him a complete transformation. The effect of the perfect version is not only in terms of strength, but reconstruction from the inside out at the genetic level. Although the original traces can still be seen, but has been fully upgraded. Handsome in more than one dimension. And, there are also bonuses for the secrets of the six naval styles. There is an indescribable master's demeanor lingering around Su Xu, an indescribable feeling that is absolutely killing for a young girl. It won't make you fall for one glance, but it will definitely be the kind that makes people unable to take their eyes away. Comma, a random identity. Su Xu's eyes lit up, as if she thought of something. When Gwen was attracted by her appearance, his mind was racing and he finally reacted. One of the gold finger after time travel. In addition to a small amount of USD, he also has a random identity. I originally thought that his white identity would make it easier for him to live in New York and prevent him from becoming a gangster, but he didn't expect that this would happen. Randomly Gwen's first cousin, Su Xu's expression was a little strange. Such a small probability event can happen, and his luck is really outrageous. I heard from the landlord that cousin, you haven't been out for several days. Dad was worried that something had happened to you, so he asked me to bring something to see you. Gwen walked in and leaned against the door frame, winking at Su Xu. The blue jeans revealed all of her slender legs, making it difficult for people to take their eyes away. Well, no, it's okay. What can I do? 
Su Xu shook her head, not used to the excessive enthusiasm for the big beauty. Hee hee, if nothing happens, why don't we go out for a walk together? Gwen opened her mouth to extend the invitation, stuck out her tongue playfully and continued. Dad asked me to take you out to familiarize yourself with New York. Don't stay in the apartment all the time. If you don't go, he will definitely blame me again. Finished. He didn't wait for Su Xu to refuse. She couldn't help but hold his hand and walk out the door. Yeah yeah, staying in the apartment all the time will cause mold. The girl's voice kept ringing in her ears, coupled with the soft touch on her hands. The fragrance coming from close to the body makes people even more distracted. But, joke, is he, Su Xu, someone who can't walk when he sees a beautiful woman? Eh, hey, so, cousin, are you going? Gwen tilted her head. He looked at Su Xu with jewel-like eyes, and his beautiful big eyes seemed to be able to speak and speak directly to his heart. Definitely. Go. Su Xu was categorical, letting her mouth make the decision for her brain. Don't get me wrong, he was not tempted by beauty. He was simply bored and went out to kill time. The system is being updated. The second round of invasion cannot be opened for a short period of time. The Red Queen is also integrating data and implementing global network coverage. There is no point in him staying in the apartment. He might as well take advantage of the current free time and go out for a walk. And, after traveling through time, he hasn't really gone out yet. Now, now that we have the strength to protect ourselves, it's time to go out and take a look. He also wanted to see the prosperity of the world of American comics. Otherwise, you can't stay in the apartment all the time hiding in the sand like an ostrich, and deceiving yourself and others. Perhaps, this is an opportunity. Su Xu's eyes were a little deep, and when he took one step, it seemed like he was in another era. Oops, cousin, are you here? It will be too late if you don't go. Someone who was pretending to be serious was forcibly interrupted. Here it comes, here it comes. Su Xu, with black lines on her head, wiped away the non-existent sweat. After a flurry of action, the two soon appeared on the bustling streets of New York. Feasting and feasting, lively and extravagant. In broad daylight, although we can't see it yet, New York is extravagant and gorgeous at night. However, under the sun, the glass building reflecting the colorful halo is not inferior. Under various unscientific black technologies, the streets of the American comic world have a sense of technology that is beyond the current era. Tall buildings rise and fall one after another. There are more beauties and handsome guys on the road one after another. But, I really want to talk about it. The most eye-catching ones are Gwen and Su Xu sitting by the window in the restaurant. The woman's front and back are curved, with graceful curves. Her fair skin and cunning eyes make her look lively and gorgeous like an elf in the snow. Men also stand out from the crowd. While he is handsome and attractive, he also has an inexplicable aura that makes people unable to take their eyes away. Tisk. Cousin, there are so many people looking at you. Gwen tapped her coffee cup with her spoon. There was a taste in her words that she didn't even notice. A short time, several beauties had already walked over to him enthusiastically and passed small notes to him. Ahem, Su Xu coughed tactically. He also didn't expect that the people of America would be so hospitable. The genetic metamorphosis of the T-virus, coupled with the development of extreme physical skills and the sixth form of the Navy, Allow Su Xu to exude an aura inadvertently, which makes people unable to help but notice. That is hidden deep in human genes, the instinctive pursuit of evolving a more perfect individual. It wasn't until Su Xu calmed down that the situation eased. However, there is nothing you can do about the beauty's active enthusiasm. That's right, cousin, what do you think of? Dot the invasion of the heavens. Gwen pouted towards the big screen. As if wanting to break the awkwardness between the two, he took the initiative to find a topic. But, as the most popular event in recent times, the invasion of the heavens is definitely a topic that men, women, and children alike cannot miss. Apart from anything else, more than half of the people in the coffee shop alone were talking about related topics, and less than half of the remaining people were talking about related content and the impact on their work. Not only in the cafe, but also on the road they just walked on, they could continue to hear related sounds. Iron Man is really hot. Fighting zombies, cutting melons and vegetables, he is indeed our superhero. Hero. 
Don't forget the reward he got in the end. He has the T-Virus technology in his hands, which is a terrifying taboo that can trigger the end of the world. The military asked him to hand it over, but he actually directly rejected it in the newspaper. It's simply. HMPH. Come on, who doesn't know about those guys in the military? It's better to leave it in the hands of Iron Man than the military. Who knows who the beautiful woman was who finally ran into the zombie wave alone. I declare unilaterally that this is my goddess. Hey, Carl, you are so cunning. You actually secretly took screenshots during the live broadcast. I want to watch my idol's highlight moments. Give me a copy quickly. The stock price of biopharmaceuticals has skyrocketed. In the pharmaceutical and technology sectors, 17 stocks have reached their daily limit. Buy them all. Sushu benefited from the effects of T-virus transformation. His hearing has also become very powerful, and even the sound of conversations within a few hundred meters cannot be hidden from his ears. Under the rapid operation of the brain center, it was quickly sorted into pieces of information, all of which were responses to the intrusion into the system. Let's not talk about good or bad. One thing is for sure. That is, it has brought an impact to the world that cannot be ignored, and no one can ignore its existence. Invasion of the heavens. What do you think? Su Xu's tone was a little incomprehensible. Perhaps, it will bring a new world, a world beyond our imagination. It drives the world forward. No one knows how far the times will develop. To be fair, Su Xu hopes that the world will become stronger and stronger, and that the superheroes will receive rewards one after another from the invasion to strengthen themselves. Only in this way can they enter a virtuous cycle, improve their strength, conquer a stronger world, and continuously climb up. With a hundredfold increase, he never minded if someone took advantage of hacking into the system. Anyway, he was the one who won in the end. A whole new world. Gwen murmured to herself, thinking about her super ability. Learn to use a new attitude, abandon the old concepts, and let a new world. This is an unprecedented opportunity. It's the best of times and it's the worst of times. After having an ice-breaking topic, they also started chatting slowly, and the atmosphere became more and more passionate. Gwen's bell-like laughter kept ringing, and a few little jokes made her laugh out loud. The relationship gradually warmed up, and the distance between the two became closer and closer. Gwen, who was laughing so hard, was almost touching Sushu inadvertently. Ah, no, this progress bar, isn't it a bit too fast? But, just when the atmosphere reaches its climax. As they got closer, Gwen apologized and left to go to the bathroom. And, he disappeared for half an hour without a trace. An unexpected interruption. Su Xu even felt that she heard the director shouting outside the set. Problem occurs. Su Xu frowned. He would never think that Gwen was running away from home. But be aware of it. This time, plus Gwen's identity. She, are you going to be a superhero? Su Xu twitched her lips, feeling that this possibility was very high. Red Queen, check Gwen's location. Yes, Master. Skynet has completed its layout in New York. The Skynet surveillance search is being called. Information comparison completed. Searching for traces related to the target. Su Xu reached out and touched the Bluetooth to her ear. The voice coming from inside was none other than the virtual intelligent Red Queen. The main body is swimming in the network, and Bluetooth is just a disguise. Otherwise, it would be too weird for him to keep talking to himself. Target traces found. Locking. Su Xu's cell phone lights up and the screen quickly jumps to a surrounding surveillance screen. Slightly dim, it should be the corner of an old street. Next to the large area of graffiti, a man wearing a Spider-Man coat leaned against the wall. The tight tights made her proud figure even more perfect, and she wore a hooded jacket to hide her identity. It was Gwen who disappeared. Several people were lying on the ground. In front of her was a strong man with a fierce look, and people kept coming out of the shadows to surround her. Because of the emergence of gangsters, Gwen's back tensed, becoming visibly nervous. Because, the other party has a gun in his hand. The dark barrel is a deterrent to modern people, and it is obviously huge amounts of. Sure enough, there was an accident. Su Xu smacked her lips and saw the situation at a glance. He met a superhero and started fighting criminals. As a result, I was not proficient in my business and was surrounded and caught. 
Ordinary street gangsters can't handle so many weapons and weapons, they are obviously a group of gangsters. Gwen. It's dangerous. There are risks in being a superhero. Su Xu smacked her lips. But his body honestly stood up from his seat. Do not misunderstand. He is not a hero saving beauty. It's just that my hands are itchy and I'm a little horny. It would be such a waste to miss out on the sandbag meat buns delivered to your door. Red Queen, locate Gwen's location. Yes, Master. Several light spots quickly appeared on the glasses Su Xu was wearing, as well as miniatures of the surrounding streets. The Red Queen's voice guidance also came to my ears. Tisk, is this right here? A black shadow fell from the sky, and it was Su Xu. After leaving the restaurant through the back door and avoiding the flow of people, he started to use the six style shaving to hurry on his way. Move at super high speed, as fast as an afterimage. Passers by can't catch it with their naked eyes. They can only feel a cool breeze passing by. There is another urban legend in New York. Not long after, Su Xu arrived at the place. He even had time and picked up a coat on the way to conceal his identity. Um, it seems a bit worse. Su Xu seemed to have thought of something, and before walking out, she quietly activated the power in her body. Six Secrets, Return of Life. Extreme Taijutsu, the ability to freely control the body's power, instills will into the body, and can freely control the internal organs, skin, hair, everywhere of the human body. The muscles bulged upwards and the joints were raised, transforming into a two-meter Sushu, who quickly changed his appearance. With the system's hundredfold increase, he gained not only the sixth form of the navy, but also all the secrets within it, including the so-called divine skill, return of life. In addition to its strong resilience, its ability to disguise its identity is also top-notch. Tread. Tread. Su Xu walked out of the corner and rushed into the crowd. The gangsters who kept shrinking the encirclement circle inward could only feel that there was a blur in front of their eyes, and there was a figure standing in front of them, blocking their actions. Wah, who is this person? Gulu. Su Xu's iron tower-like body was so oppressive that the bully who bullied the weak and feared the strong could not help but swallow his saliva. I, a hero motivated by interest. Su Xu casually replied that a certain bald man's state of mind might be very similar to his current state. The careless indifference made Gwen, who was surrounded, couldn't help but turn her head and look over, her eyes shining with brilliance. Ying, hero. Bullshit hero. This has nothing to do with you, get out of here. Otherwise I'll kill you too. The villains were yanking their necks and threatening them, but no matter how you looked at them, there was something sinister about them. But, soon, the weapons in their hands gave them confidence. They have guns in their hands. You have a gun in hand, but are you afraid of a hammer? Didn't you see that all the superheroes were blocked? No matter how strong your physical fitness is, can you still shoot? The wind died down, the rain stopped, and the villains felt like they were okay again. As soon as the courage came up, he instantly pulled it into 25,800 yuan. Humph, you want a hero to save the beauty, right? You don't even have to look at how capable you are. Times have changed. If you can fight, you can't beat having a gun. Big muscles are of no use. Since he is seeking death, let him be satisfied. Humph, I don't like his face. I'll disfigure him first and then kill him. A man and a woman died here, and there was a superhero inside. The headlines will probably explode tomorrow. If it's a beautiful woman, maybe my brothers can. The words became more and more unpleasant to listen to, and the grinning expression became more and more ferocious, like a kid with teeth and claws. Shameless. Gwen's face darkened, her expression a little ugly. As for Su Xu, he was as calm as water, with not even the slightest fluctuation on his face. Because, in his eyes, this is already a group of dead men. Who would waste expressions on a group of corpses? Six styles of shaving. Su Xu, who was moving at super high speed, turned into an afterimage. Six type finger gun. With a tap of his hand, the condensed energy turned into a bullet and came out of the barrel, hitting the person with a hole instantly. Be careful. That guy is weird. Shoot. Aim and shoot. Quick. Let's get rid of him first. That guy is more dangerous. Suppressive fire. Quick. There were exclamations one after another, and finally someone reacted. Bullets were fired indiscriminately, aiming at Su Xu and firing. 
Gatling's blue fire erupted, and someone in the rear carried an individual rocket launcher, which was extremely fierce. However, these are just meaningless things. Lanjiao Bai Lei. Black Widow only got the basic six moves, but Sushu got all the derivative skills. A hundredfold increase is more than just talk. Lanjiao Bai Lei. Dazzling white light bloomed in midair. Like thunder that shatters the darkness. Ah. My eyes. Close your eyes. I knew there was something weird about that guy. Ah. The piercing wails continued. Except shine. The fierce murderous intent under the white light is no less powerful than thunder. Even Gwen could only see the afterimage of Sushu and dazzling white light flashes in the sky. It's like an invisible sickle harvesting wheat. Soon. The crowd overwhelmed the crowd and they all fell down. Not even the slightest strength to resist. Not to mention, it would cause some trouble to Sushu. Completely. Vulnerable. Less than a moment. The only life left on the court that could breed was Gwen, who Sushu could protect. Call. Call. Gwen's breathing was a little rapid, as if she had been hit hard. Through the Spider-Man tights, people could feel her turbulent heart. Sweat was pouring down from her body, and her tights had several holes, revealing skin as white as snow underneath. The scratches on her body and the dust from the fight made her look a little embarrassed. Before fighting evil, you should also look at your own strength. Coming forward with passion, that's not justice, that's called delivering food. Su Shu whispered deeply. Then, without waiting for Gwen to respond, he directly grabbed her body, super high-speed movement, and left quickly. This is not a place to stay for a long time. The fighting is too noisy and will soon attract the military and even shield. He didn't want to get into trouble and waste precious time. Saw, saw, several dark shadows rose and fell in the night sky. Su Shu, who used the six-style shave, super high-speed movement, quickly pulled Gwen away from the scene and went to a nearby downtown area. He put Gwen down at the corner, made sure she was fine, and then turned into an afterimage and left again. Looking at Su Shu who quickly disappeared from sight, Gwen felt a little confused. Why, does it feel familiar? Do we know each other? But he looks very strange. Gwen's eyes flashed. There is some hesitation in the intuition of spider telepathy. And, a hero driven by interest. Quote opening parenthesis dot question mark. Underscore. Sorry, something happened at home suddenly. I have to go back early. I'm leaving first. I've already paid for the meal. We had a lot of fun playing together today. I'll invite you out to play next time. Stick out your tongue JPG. Sushu was walking on a busy road. Suddenly a text message came from the phone. Want to know. Gwen, who was overturned while fighting the evil was seriously injured, and she is probably dealing with her injuries now. He looked so embarrassed that he was not suitable to continue playing. And, is it almost night? Su Shu looked up at the sky. The gorgeous sunset dyed the sky red. The setting sun was like blood, as if it was foreshadowing something. Ding! The long-lost voice of the system suddenly sounded in my mind. That's right. The countdown has reached zero. This is why Su Shu decisively left after putting Gwen down. It's about to begin. Su Shu's eyes narrowed slightly, suppressing the fluctuation in her heart, and walked back to the apartment as if nothing had happened. System unlocked. Whether to search the plane for the second invasion of the heavens. Weather. Two options that were constantly moving were flashing in front of Su Shu's eyes. The benefits of lying down and winning, do you still need to choose? Yes. Su Shu thought silently in her heart. Countless lights and shadows bloomed before his eyes, and familiar scenes flashed past like a revolving lantern. Finally, it freezes in one scene, a silhouette deep in memory. It's actually this world. Su Shu's eyes moved slightly, with some surprise on his face. The second round of the invasion of the heavens has begun. World screening in progress. Boom. Invisible sound waves bloom. All the electronic screens lit up one after another, forcing a live broadcast on them. I'm coming. The overbearing and unreasonable effects of the system have begun to appear again. Different from last time. This time, as soon as the system broadcast the report, it attracted countless attention and was called the center of the spotlight. Asgard. Did it start again? Odin slowly opened his one eye, and the golden glow in his eyes was a little complicated. Another corner of Asgard. 
After waiting for so long, it finally begins. Loki rubbed his hands eagerly. Kamar Taj. The timeline is even more confusing. The Ancient One walked out of the holy place, his vicissitudes of life deepening his eyes. Military. Everything is ready. This time, the Empire must get a share of the pie. The army general stood on stage to boost morale. Below are the trump cards drawn from each elite unit, listed in full gear. Judging from the last recruitment, the people selected by the system are obviously top talents, and they are not randomly selected. I don't know if it will work. General Ross shook his head inwardly, not optimistic about this kind of action of finding a needle in a haystack. Mutant Academy. A new world. Is there any hope for mutants and ordinary people to live in peace? Professor X murmured softly, with longing in his eyes. A secret base somewhere. Peaceful coexistence. Our status can only be resolved by force. Magneto spoke decisively, staring at the live broadcast screen. There, may be a powerful force inside. We need stronger power. Mutant needs stronger power. Inciting voices sounded, and the faces of Mystique and the others below were full of fanaticism. Huh. The second round of invasion has begun. Is this the end of the world to fight zombies? How is that possible? The Red Queen was destroyed by Iron Man and successfully completed the mission. Wasn't the end of the world prevented? Where did the zombie invasion come from? Are you stupid? No. It's possible. Iron Man only prevented the virus from leaking. Don't forget, the creator of the T-Virus is the Umbrella Company, and they are the big boss. What we have now are just monsters at best. There will definitely be a plot behind it. Huh. No way, it's zombies again. Killing zombies is quite fun, but it always feels a bit boring. Yeah, isn't it about invading the heavens? It shouldn't be that simple, right? The internet was abuzz with excitement, and people were staring at the live broadcast and constantly speculating. Everyone held their own opinions and got into a quarrel. Until, the fleeting scene slowly came to a standstill. Finally, the dust has settled. It's actually this type. Nick Fury's pupils narrowed slightly, and there was a bit of surprise on his face, as if he was unexpected. On the live broadcast screen, various fantasy worlds flashed by one by one, but finally settled on a silhouette of busy traffic. On the street, pedestrians were laughing and joking, and there was no danger in the harmonious atmosphere. It was completely different from the last round of Doomsday Silence. What we entered this time was actually a modern city. Recruiting candidates. Recruitment completed. Publication. The Adventures of Jackie Chan. Coordinates. San Francisco, California. The cold text appeared again, the content in the light curtain changed again, and the plane quickly became three-dimensional. On the busy street, a tall, strong man appeared with a strong positive energy on his face, which made people trust him. He held a round shield in his hand, with alternating red and blue graffiti, somewhat like the stars and stripes. Captain America. Is he the one who was recruited this time? Nick Fury quickly confirmed the candidate, unlike Natasha Romanoff, the captain seems to have entered alone this time. Although Nick Fury was excited, he couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. Their new shield ace Natasha Romanoff actually didn't go in with Captain America, otherwise they would have been killed all the way. What a pity. Director. The captain is also very strong. Phil Coulson seemed to see the regret in Lou Dan's eyes, his expression was a little strange. That's right. Natasha Romanoff nodded. The captain's body is far beyond the level of ordinary people. In the 6th Marine style, he has already mastered the prototype of one move. As the only successful super soldier, he is the main muscle of justice in the Avengers Alliance. Captain America's body is definitely beyond doubt. Have you taken initial control? Nick Fury was a little different. He was so busy with all kinds of things that he really didn't notice it. But, the captain has just woken up from the freeze and is still unfamiliar with modern technology. Suddenly entering such a modern city, their shield is at a disadvantage. If they were replaced by Natasha Romanoff, it would be more comfortable. The ability of a top agent will definitely make them like a fish in water in the city. Nick Fury had a dark face and a somewhat gloomy expression. Live screen. San Francisco. Am I? Recruited. Captain America walked out of the golden light and looked at the busy world around him, feeling strange. 
His name is Steve Rogers, a superhero promoted by the United States for 80 years. He fell into a glacier due to a plane crash and fell into a deep sleep until he woke up recently. He couldn't get his pension, but he was also targeted by braised eggs. This World War II veteran tricked himself into S.H.I.E.L.D. and continued to use his remaining talents, showing no martial ethics. Today is even more bizarre. He stayed at home, worked hard to learn new technologies, adapted to the new world conditions, and prepared to get re-employed. Suddenly, a golden light fell from the sky and enveloped him. After the world turned upside down, the world immediately changed before my eyes. Looking at the unfamiliar modern city around him, Captain America had a clear understanding in his heart. He traveled through time again. Invasion of the heavens. Captain America couldn't help but frown. With his good-natured character, he would definitely resist such an invasion, let alone invade another world. But, take Natasha Romanoff and Tony, their previous experience. It may be dangerous. Captain America's heart tightened, and he instantly entered a state of alert. He clasped the shield with his right hand and prepared for attack. Look around cautiously, and if the situation goes wrong, you can strike a fatal blow. The vigilance of World War II veterans was deeply rooted in their bones. The horror of the biochemical crisis left a deep impression on him. The virus leaked and infected people into zombies, which continued to spread and spread, and could even evolve into a doomsday catastrophe that destroyed human civilization. There are lessons learned from the past. Even if he came to a seemingly safe urban environment this time, he did not dare to take it lightly. Based on the survival guide taught by Phil Coulson, if I want to live in the city, maybe I should get some local currency first. Just as Captain America was about to find a construction site to move bricks. Earn local currency while integrating into the local environment. Ding. The system beep finally belatedly sounded, almost turning a superhero into an anti-big bag. Entered the special location Chinatown. Main mission, collecting spells. The darkness in the shadows is about to awaken, the dusty sculptures are ready to move, evil is spreading, and the twelve talismans containing mysterious power are lost all over the world. The balance of good and evil is about to change, please choose the camp you want to help. And help the camp collect twelve talismans. Reward, unknown, settled based on the level of mission participation. After the mission is completed, you will return to the original world. If you die during the mission, you will sink into the anchor world forever. Current progress. Spell collection 0 twelfths. Faction. None. Points. Zero. It sounds like you're just collecting things. Captain America scratched his head in confusion, but why do you have to choose a camp for a treasure hunt mission? The system panel expanded outwards, extending into a map with several light spots flashing on it. Captain America, who didn't know the meaning of the light spots, planned to find the nearest one to find out the situation. However, just when he was taking action steadily, outside world, but suddenly it exploded, collecting charms. No wonder this world is called Jackie Chan's Adventures. It's really about adventure and treasure hunting. TCH. I thought it was some big move, but I didn't expect it to be so boring. What's the point of exploring in the city? It's better to watch my Mr. Bay's wilderness adventure. That's right, it's just as exciting as the last world, Resident Evil. It sounds exciting. Tisk, isn't this system out of control? Who cares about the treasure hunting adventure? What can be gained from this, it is not as good as the previous T-virus crisis. Yeah yeah, negative voices continue to sound. How great is the expectation, how great is the disappointment? In this low pressure, a line of text suddenly floated across the video barrage. Instantly triggered a frenzy. By the way, have you noticed that this man looks like Captain America? Reality. An ardent Captain America fan holds a Captain America poster in his hand. His eyes kept alternating between the live broadcast and the poster, with an expression of disbelief on his face. He looks so much like Captain America. One stone stirred up a thousand waves, instantly detonating a frenzy. The violent barrages almost brought the online live broadcast to a halt, and I don't know how many programmers were about to be sacrificed. Director. The response on the internet is getting bigger and bigger. Should I notify the security council to block it? Phil Coulson walked over wiping sweat. The dead hero comes into reality. 
The spiritual beliefs promoted by the United States for decades come alive before our eyes. 1. Living. The spirit of the United States. The impact is absolutely unprecedented. If it weren't for the emergence of the hacked system, it would have become the headlines. Block news. Nick Fury shook his head. No, just guide public opinion. The news about Captain America cannot be hidden. Compared to these, what he cares more about is the other recruits. This time, it's impossible for only their SHIELD members to be drafted, right? Faction selection. No matter how you look at it, it doesn't look like something that one or two people can play with. Nick Fury touched his bald head. He is very confident about his own African chiefs. A. Why does the other recruiter seem to be a fool? While Nick Fury was deep in thought, Phil Coulson suddenly stared at the video with disbelief on his face. Recruitment. Is there finally a fight? A man wearing heavy plate armor and a metal helmet, who looked like a knight from the Middle Ages, walked out of the teleportation beam and looked at the unfamiliar environment around him, with some excitement in his eyes. Thor, who defeated the Frost Giants, the old enemies of Asgard, went to invade the Frost Giant territory, angered the god King Odin, and was imprisoned in Asgard. He came to a new world in the blink of an eye. Locked up for so long, the fresh breath of freedom made him feel quite good. And, although Thor looked down upon biological modifications such as the T-Virus, he felt that they were inferior powers. But, for the battle, for the invasion, he was quite interested, even enthusiastic about it. Otherwise, he won't anger Odin again and again and get beaten up by the old man. The unknown new world, it's time for me to take action again. I hope there are strong enough opponents in this world. Thor geared up, his eyes were filled with fighting spirit. As for the camp, joke, he is Thor of Asgard. Why do you need those things that hold you back? In the name of Thor Thor, I will conquer this land. Thor carried Mjolnir and sounded a deep voice. Like a statement to the world. Full of middle too, looking domineering. But. Effect. Fool. I knew I shouldn't expect anything from that idiot Thor. Loki covered his face with his hands and couldn't help the corners of his mouth twitching. Thor is still as unreliable as ever. What did he think this was? Acting in a stage play. I don't know how many people are watching the live broadcast, but they still talk like this. I always feel that they will be regarded as crazy, and Asgard will be embarrassed. Loki was a little lucky that he didn't teleport in with Thor. It is really. What a shame. Thor. Odin whispered. He was very calm on the throne. Having long been accustomed to Thor's character, Odin didn't pay much attention to this little, out of place, situation. Compared to these, he cares more. Is Thor being recruited this time? Odin's eyes were filled with golden light and his deep gaze seemed to penetrate the void, stopping at the spot where Thor was before he disappeared. His expression became imperceptibly serious, and there was fear in his eyes. As the god king, I didn't realize how Thor disappeared from Asgard. Invade the system, that, what kind of power is it? Odin's eyes widened, filled with horror. Changes in Asgard. The melon-eating people on Blue Star didn't know anything. They were just naive. They couldn't help but laugh while watching the live broadcast. Those recruited last time were all elite. But why do the recruiters look so funny this time? Thor, what the hell is Thor? Do you think you are a Nordic Thor? This guy's Chunabu is too serious. Could it be a joke sent by the monkey? No, no, a lunatic can be a recruiter. Could it be that the reason why I wasn't selected was that I wasn't good enough? Funny JPG, funny JPG. It's gone, it's gone. It's a deep delusion at first glance. He is Thor Thor, and I am the god King Odin. I don't even draft a draft. The internet is abuzz with all kinds of comments. As Barajas whizzed past, soon, the internet is filled with a happy atmosphere. Nordic Thor. Nick Fury shook his head, obviously not convinced. This is, too ridiculous. Even if there was an invasion of the world, he still didn't want to believe that there was a super standard existence like Thor on the Blue Star. Myths should stay in legends. As said on the internet, he must be a delusional lunatic. Nick Fury twitched his lips. As for the metal armor on Thor, 80% of them are props made by a serious cosplay enthusiast. It looks quite realistic, but it is completely impractical. This exaggerated shape is not suitable for combat at all, especially the bulky metal helmet. The point is, 
Whose god can fight in close combat with a hammer? Director. There's a situation. A new person has appeared. He looks like a ruthless character. He is suspected to be a desperado. The database is being launched for screening. Just as Nick Fury was complaining, Phil Coulson's nervous voice sounded, interrupting his thoughts. Um. Nick Fury quickly turned his head. In the screen. Sure enough, another figure appeared. He looks a little older, looks more like a middle-aged man, and has weather-beaten marks on his body. Bloody and evil spirits are coming. Nick Fury can feel the unpleasant aura on him even through the screen. And, this appearance, it's them. Nick Fury's pupils shrank, and a piece of information appeared in his mind. Does the professor mean hope? Jean Grey walked out with gentle steps, half-closing her eyes, focusing on her surroundings. Chin, be careful, this place is unusual. A deep voice sounded from behind. Wolverine followed and walked out, stood behind the piano, and quietly placed the piano in the protective circle. Cyclops stood on the side, looking around vigilantly, putting down his glasses, ready to activate the laser light at any time. Um, in the west, a powerful life form was discovered. On Chin's half-closed eyes, the eyelashes trembled slightly, as if she had discovered something. Then let's go to the west first. Wolverine's eyes narrowed and he made an instant decision. Anyway, with a super strong self-healing factor that can instantly recover most injuries, coupled with adamantium, which is the hardest in the universe, Wolverine, as an immortal human shield, has never had the word fear in his dictionary. Facing the unfamiliar unknown, I just chose to rush forward. Chin, follow me. Let's go check out the situation first. Maybe we can gain something. After Wolverine's decision, the Resolute X-Men team quickly began to take action. Regardless of the 12 talismans. Still, unknown camp choices are not something that one can just sit back and wait for death to come into contact with. Shield. Director, the character model has been uploaded to the cloud and captured through big data analysis. No trace of the person who calls himself Thor Thor has been found yet. But on the other side, some traces have been found, which is. Phil Coulson trotted over. However, before he could speak, Nick Fury walked over first and said in a deep voice, it's Wolverine Logan, right? Well, director, do you know? Phil Coulson scratched his head, a little embarrassed. Nick Fury's expression moved slightly, but he kept silent. How could he not understand the two major factions of Mutant, the main faction and the X-Men? Wolverine, who has a super strong healing factor, is considered a top fighter among them. Not only did he know Logan, he knew where they were going now. Captain America, there's going to be trouble. Nick Fury's eyes darkened and his face turned darker. Boom. Invisible air waves bloomed in midair. Eyes facing each other. The collision of eyes produces electric sparks. This is not an adjective, this is what really happened. Cyclops activated the super ability and directly shot out two laser beams. If Captain America hadn't reacted quickly and raised the vibranium shield in time to defend, he would have been knocked away in one encounter. The X-Men team following Chin Navigation directly ran into Captain America who was exploring the back alley. If you are lucky, you will meet a competitor and test the opponent's strength. This will be of great help to your next strength. Captain America's strength determines their next actions. Take action at the slightest disagreement. Base. Wolverine showed his claws and fought fiercely with Captain America, and a fight broke out in the back alley. Encounter. The neck and neck battle made Nick Fury's eyebrows knit into a straight line. It seems like a 50 to 50 split. However, Wolverine still has one teammate who hasn't taken action. He's also a member of the X-Men. The other two's super abilities are not weak. Captain America can barely cope with Wolverine. Plus other helpers. Luodin shook his head. In his eyes, Captain America is basically a sure loser. Great job. Storm jumped up excitedly. Wolverine and Captain America drew, and coupled with his super self-healing factor and terror defense, if the battle continues, Captain America will definitely be the first to fall at a disadvantage, not to mention that Wolverine has his companions behind him. How can these few people compete with us? The reward is ours. I just don't know, what is the reward for this mission? Whatever. As long as it's no worse than last time. The X-Men were all smiling, and the air was filled with joy. Just treat this reward as something in your pocket. It's not just them. 
Even the unsmiling Professor X. He couldn't help but curve his lips slightly, revealing a smile. Very good. Since the emergence of the invasion of the heavens system, the situation has changed rapidly and become more complex, and the pressure on him has become heavier and heavier, making him somewhat breathless. Among the bad news that came like snowflakes, good news finally arrived. This time, it's their turn to eat meat. A super soldier, a paranoid maniac, and on the mutant side, the X-Men team. How could this lineup, Phylongchi face, lose? Asshole. Why is God so good to mutant? This obviously belongs to the Empire. Some people jumped anxiously, their eyes were bloodshot, and they almost overturned the table in anger. It's okay if none of the special forces they tried so hard to recruit were selected. Mutant just randomly entered a bunch, and the rewards this time were almost predetermined by X-Men. Although Captain America is the only successful member of the Super Soldier Project, it is obviously a huge amount of problem to deal with the X-Men team with one enemy against many. What? Another draftee, you say? Joke. What can a paranoid man do? If they were really strong, how could there be no record in their Yingjong intelligence system? As the world's policemen, they have considerable confidence in themselves. Maybe it ran out of some corner. Someone was whispering below. His condescending tone quickly gained the majority of approval. It's just a secondary disease, don't worry about it. Someone from the top of the military waved his hand. I think it is more important to discuss now the reward that will fall into the hands of the mutant. What else can we do? Gentlemen, are we just going to watch the glory that belongs to the Empire be taken away by freaks? An army lieutenant general said angrily. No need to rush. The old admiral spoke slowly. Slowly, like an elegant gentleman in a tuxedo holding a knife and fork at the dinner table. In mutant, apparently it was the steak on his plate. If you can't cure the arms tycoon Iron Man, you can't deal with a group of weird mutants. Professor, the weakness that comes to your door needs to be taken care of. One sentence instantly made the people below smile, and they instantly understood the meaning. Eyes darting around, countless conspiracies emerged, looks like the flesh is about to be cut off. Winner. Professor X is really lucky. Nick Fury shook his head. Although, he also felt in his heart that 80% of the reward for this mission would go to Wolverine and the others. But Lou Dan's mentality is obviously not as impatient as the military. After all, they also have a Navy 6 guarantee. If the reward is good, maybe you can exchange it for the analyzed physical skills. Nick Fury's eyes flashed slightly. Facing the increasingly chaotic situation and living in the wave of the times, he began to instinctively look for allies. Mutant Academy was obviously a good choice. A desolate abandoned base somewhere. Snort. They were actually beaten by those herbivorous factions. Mystique curled her lips in displeasure, and the others didn't look much better either. They were gearing up, but none of them were selected. Instead, the arch-rivals X-Men got a few of them in through some shenanigans, and it looked like they were going to be the final winners. Even if they are enemies, they don't think that a super soldier or a middle-aged child can stop Wolverine from snatching the treasure from their hands. Wolverine's character is not that of a virgin, and she has no moral obsessiveness. It's really upsetting. Some people clench their molars in jealousy, with hatred on their faces. Enough. Magneto shouted coldly. Only. Just one step ahead. There are still opportunities ahead. Prepare well. The next reward will definitely belong to us. Magneto half closed his eyes, mentally acquiescing to the outcome. Hell. Jehiaji. Something interesting seems to have happened in the world. Strong soul fluctuations, human emotions are really tempting. Mephisto slowly opened his eyes with a satisfied expression on his face. The projection possesses a human being and controls the mind. The devil's sly eyes looked at the live broadcast screen, while he was hiding in hell and peering at the screen. Is the winner the mutant? Fortunately, they are the moderates under Professor X. Batman felt relieved. He still knows something about the X-Men, and he can barely be considered a righteous side, maintaining the stability of humans and mutants, at least better than the opposing faction of rioters. Comma. Comma. On the surface, the X-Men team undoubtedly has a crushing advantage. This mission can be said to be their home field. This, it has almost become the consensus of the majority. Apart from, Asgard, the dust has settled. 
A playful smile appeared on Loki's face, that idiot Thor is not that easy to deal with. Looking down on him, Loki shook his head disdainfully. I have only heard that brother Shuizi has a low IQ, but I have never heard of anyone saying that brother Shuizi is a poor technician. If the fighting ability is not good, it is impossible for Thor to defeat all the invincible enemies in the world and directly rush into the frost giant territory to invade. How many mutants dare to underestimate Thor's strength? I really think Thor's name was just blown away. X-Men. Loki's eyes narrowed slightly, with a fierce look in them. He could already see these idiots being smashed away by Mjolnir. Bureau, Director, there seems to be something wrong. Paranoia. No, there seems to be something wrong with the man who calls himself Thor. Not only can he transform, he can also discharge electricity. Phil Coulson rushed and exclaimed. If it were normal, Nick Fury would definitely get scolded by his rampant appearance. But, now, he, obviously there is no time to care about this. Nick Fury looked at the screen with white eyes and an extremely serious expression. He stared at the live broadcast, unable to take his eyes away, as the strong white light reflected his face into a pale white. Across the screen, it was as if I could hear the roar of thunder. Live screen. San Francisco, back alley of Chinatown. Wallen, who was wearing a green suit, was eyeing a big fat sheep. Hey, boss, what are we squatting here for? My legs are going numb. Lasu said with a bitter look on his face. Idiot. The boss is obviously interested in what that guy has. I can guarantee that the armor is worth a lot of money. Even if it is not a medieval antique, it is a treasure made by a famous artist and can be sold for a lot of money. Joe pushed his eyes, affirmed. Antiques. Are we going to pick them up? Once we get them, we can send them to the auction house and make a fortune. Off Fen's eyes suddenly lit up, compared to the illusory treasure promised by the Holy Lord. The antiques in front of you are definitely more practical, and you can make a lot of money if you get them. I have no intention of spending any money on it. Valen threw out his classic lines and walked out with a greedy look on his face. Not just armor. The hammer in that guy's hand is a rare treasure, absolutely priceless. Have to say, the loan's greed for money made the loan's sense of treasure beyond imagination, and he immediately set his sights on the hammer in Thor's hand. Boy, robbery, hurry up and hand over everything. We are the mafia. Joe, Lasu, and Ah Fen, all with sly smiles on their faces, followed the loan and surrounded Thor with winks. They clenched their fists to threaten and intimidate him. They looked like evil villains at first glance. As an atmosphere group, the effect is very good. Pity. Unluckily enough, he bumped into Thor and kicked the iron plate directly. Rob me. Thor's face darkened. This was the first time in his life that he encountered someone who dared to rob him. He hasn't experienced Odin's, King's Trial, in the original work, and Thor now has a bad temper. How dare you desecrate the glory of Asgard. In the name of Thor, you will surely suffer the judgment of thunder. Thor said in a low voice. A wave of his right hand. The power of thunder flashes. Without Odin blessing his seal and imprisoning his divine power, a few mafia gangs would be seeking death in front of him. Zilla. Boom. Dazzling thunder flashed out. Thor casually fired a flat A, which was comparable to a high voltage electric current of hundreds of thousands of volts. Silver white lightning fell from the sky and hit the mafia's head. As soon as they met, the four people were instantly killed and turned into four black pieces of coke. Apart from each other, Wallen, who was the most resistant to beatings, opened a barrier and sprayed out several flashing arcs of electricity. The green suit on his body had been torn to pieces by the thunder and lightning, and he could vaguely smell the burnt smell. Then he couldn't bear the pressure and fell down heavily. Thump, thump, comma. One by one, the mafia fell to the ground and walked away peacefully. Quote exclamation mark. What's going on? OMG. My god, did I see it wrong? Lightning. It's lightning. Come on, aren't you paranoid? How did you become a person with super ability? Are you kidding me? Today is April Fool's Day. Fake information to harm dead man. Whoever messes up the rhythm and says there is no threat is not afraid of the Chunabu, but is afraid of the super ability of the Chunabu. Hey, he looks like a ruthless person again. The X-Men are in danger. The dazzling thunder not only lights up the screen. And, it was like lightning, 
punching into the hearts of the outside audience, leaving a deep mark. People who eat melons are excited. The original mockery of Thor and his Chunabu instantly turned into a one-sided counterattack. Amid the overwhelming barrage, a line of text quietly passed by, attracting the attention of countless people. By the way, is it possible, I mean is it possible, that he? Is he really Thor Thor? After all, his attack just now was with thunder and lightning, which seems to match Thor's personality. The barrage flashed across the video, and the world seemed to pause, and the surrounding atmosphere instantly turned cold. Really? Thor exists? God? Really exist? Impossible? Absolutely impossible? Nick Fury denied it repeatedly, with a determined expression as if he wanted to join the party. I have seen high technology, I have seen the Kree people, I have seen the resurrection of Tahiti. But, he, Nick Fury, I absolutely do not believe in God. As for that guy's power, super ability, definitely some sort of super ability. It must be an awakening mutant with the power of thunder, and a history of paranoia, so he just thinks of himself as Thor Thor in Norse mythology. It must be so, Nick Fury said firmly. He didn't believe that there were Norse gods and things like Asgard in the world. Technology has long been spread all over the world, and even outer space has human footprints. If gods really exist, there will be nowhere to hide, unless they live on alien planets. Nick Fury looked at the live broadcast suspiciously, thinking that this was probably mutant using his super ability to cause trouble. Super ability. Is it a mutant? Awakening Thunder's ability. Professor X frowned. Like Nick Fury, he thought of this as some kind of super ability and did not easily believe in, Thor. Cut. Isn't it just thunder and lightning? Storm pouted, she could do this level of lightning as long as the weather was right. And, if you have enough time to accumulate power, you can use the storm to affect the clouds. Isn't it just thunder and lightning? I can also set off a thunderstorm. It's better than this little lightning. When Storm refused to admit defeat, the change in the live broadcast abruptly interrupted the second half of her sentence. I always feel, it's about to be slapped in the face. Live screen. Zilla. Zilla. Electric arcs flashed in the air. Even the air in the back alley where Thor had wreaked havoc was filled with a faint smell of burning. Thor's power is not something you can just blow off. A pack of maimed dogs. Thor shook his head disdainfully. The actions of Valen and his group did not affect him at all. At most, it's just a trivial little storm. Not even a soldier. But, speak of it, Thor's eyes narrowed, and he turned to look at a corner on the right, as if lightning flashed across his eyes, the little mouse in the underground has been hiding in the dark and peeking for so long, it's enough. Thor's face turned cold, and his deep voice sounded like a roar of thunder. Discovered, in the direction where Thor was looking, there was a prostrate black figure, and he couldn't help but shudder. It's Cyclops. Following Chin's mental power detection, they arrived at the back alley of Chinatown. Wolverine had completely suppressed Captain America, and the battle had been settled. Cyclops originally just wanted to come out for some air and look for clues to the spell. Result. Turning around, I met Thor showing off his might. The powerful power of thunder makes people palpitate. Without certainty, Cyclops does not want to be an enemy of Thor. He is not Wolverine and has a regenerative healing factor. Unexpectedly, he was still forced to get involved in the dispute. Cyclops walked out from behind the trash can, raised his hands to show that he meant no harm, put a sneer on his face, and said with a smile, Hey, man. We are all mutants, there is no need to tit for tat. Perhaps, we can form an alliance. We are all mutants, so we are naturally allies. You can choose the camp on the mission page. We can choose the same camp, and we will definitely achieve the greatest effect. The more Cyclops talked, the brighter his eyes became. Originally, it was just talk to stall for time, but as he talked, he suddenly felt that it could really be done. This mission is divided into factions, which is obviously different from the previous ones. Rather than fighting alone, Perhaps making alliances and uniting other recruits is the right answer to victory in the faction battle. But, just when Cyclops thought he had discovered the truth, his words suddenly stopped. Not good. Suddenly, a murderous intention swept across. The instinct of dangerous perception made the hairs on Cyclops' body suddenly stand up. Like, a cat whose fur explodes when threatened. Mutant. 
Four curled his lips disdainfully and emphasized again, I am Thor Thor. Thor of Asgard. The majestic future king of Asgard. Being treated as a mutant and asking for an alliance, with Thor's pride, it's strange that he has no temper. He Thor. Conquering the Nine Realms has always relied on force, not ridiculous alliances. Thor's face was slumped, lightning flashed in his eyes, he was angry. Dazzling thunder enveloped the vision. Cyclops instantly understood that the other party was coming for him. Call out. Put on the glasses auxiliary device, your eyes light up, and two laser rays burst out. After activating super ability and defeating the lightning coming from the pavement, Cyclops took advantage of the opportunity and quickly dodged through the lightning gap. Whoosh! Red lasers burst out and collided with thunder. Lightning flashes and thunder arcs splash. Cyclops quickly dodged, and behind him were deep pits struck by lightning strikes. Snort. The rats in the ditch can only hide. Thor's face was dark, and he felt unhappy that the attack failed, hide. How long can you hide? After scoffing, he opened his right hand. Boom. Mjolnir seemed to hear the call and turned into a bolt of lightning and fell from the sky. After activating his exclusive weapon, he started to take action. You haven't finished playing yet, have you? Cyclops was angry and angry. The contemptuous look on Thor's face and the arrogance in his bones made Cyclops' mentality explode instantly. He. How dare he. Aren't they just mutants? Who is not a mutant anymore? I'll fight you. He was just wary of Thor's strength and didn't want to provoke him rashly, especially when the opponent was also a mutant and a natural partner for alliance. In the unknown world, multiple friends are better than multiple enemies. But, if a fight really breaks out, who is afraid of whom? So what if he can control thunder and lightning? He can also release laser light. Cyclops' eyes were filled with anger and he risked his life. If he didn't show some strength to teach the other party a lesson, he really thought he was just a novice and could be bullied casually. Veins appeared on Cyclops' head, his temples bulged high, majestic energy was released from his eyes, scarlet laser particles bloomed, and the air was distorted by the high temperature. He was so angry that he stopped pretending and completely exploded. Pity. Not only did he overestimate himself, he also vastly underestimated Thor, especially the angry Thor Thor. Boom. Boom. Water-like thunder shot down from the sky. Like the Sword of Dalmos, it slammed Cyclops into the ground. The speed of lightning was beyond the ability of humans to withstand, and it was impossible to even capture the movement trajectory, let alone dodge it. As for laser light that can melt steel, Thor mentioned Mjolnir and went straight to it, using the hard steel laser. Boom, boom, dazzling thunder swept upwards, and the laser light that could melt steel had no effect on the hammer. Instead, the lightning that filled the hammer swept up in the opposite direction, blasting the laser light into slag. There were only a few splashes of lightning left, running around on the ground. Thor was unscathed. Opposite him, Cyclops, who was electrocuted into coke, was knocked out and fell together with Valone and the others. Can't blink. Thor was the only one standing in the entire back alley of the old street. All around. Silence. Only traces of thunder and lightning were left. Zilla. Zilla. The sound of flashing arcs, friction of electric sparks, and collision of charges was particularly harsh in the empty back alley. Hiss. 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 The melon eaters before the live broadcast couldn't help but take a breath. The warming of Antarctic glaciers has been accelerated again. On the video, the overwhelming barrage stopped at this moment, leaving a rare vacuum. Netizens who talked a lot were speechless for a long time. Mutant Academy. Isn't it just thunder and lightning? Storm suddenly became unconfident in the middle of what he said, and his voice in the second half was as quiet as a mosquito. His dark face suddenly turned red, highly congested, and painful. Like, he was slapped by invisible and hit hard several times, so red that it almost started to bleed. Live broadcast. The thunder power shown by Thor was completely different from hers. Even with the help of special weather, she would have to accumulate power for a long time before she could explode this level of power. And Thor. His face is not red, he is not out of breath, he is just like a normal person. Even a fool can see it. This is not on the same level at all. Being able to raise your hand to kill Cyclops means you can kill yourself instantly. Why did she want to compete with Thor before? 
Do you think your ability is on par with the other person's? Thinking of this, Storm's face suddenly turned red and bleeding. Fine. Her companions did not notice her embarrassment. Or, everyone paid attention and was attracted by the shocking content in the live broadcast. Super ability. This kind of power is definitely not super ability. Professor X frowned in a straight line. It can instantly kill Cyclops with one move, and it also has a weird thunder hammer, which is very different from the power of mutant. Only. Thunder. Hammer. Thor. Professor. Shield. Could it be? Is he really a god? His clenched fists, with white knuckles, showed his inner struggle. Atheist Nick Fury is also starting to waver. Words can deceive, but actions don't. This kind of ability to move and create thunderous natural disasters is simply beyond the control of humans. Mutants have been around for so long, but I have never heard of them being able to control this kind of power. Otherwise, the military would not target them everywhere. Director. Phil Coulson gritted his teeth and handed over the tablet in his hand. Thor Thor, seems to really exist in Norse mythology. Thor of Asgard, who likes fighting and wine. The ability he controls is thunder, he is proficient in war, and he is also known as the god of war. The most important is, Mjolnir. Dot the legendary weapon made from the core of the Death Star, looks like it really is a hammer. Phil Coulson pointed to Mjolnir on Thor's hand in the live broadcast. He swallowed, with a bit of panic in his eyes, also. Hammer. On his hammer, the technicians found some defective words. On the hammer, various arcs flashed, and a few defective graphics and characters could be vaguely seen in the dazzling lightning. After being captured by a high-definition search camera, it was then magnified at a high magnification using technological means. Based on data comparison, Dot the defective text on the hammer, is very similar to the runes of Norse mythology. Extremely high. The last sentence, like the final word, launched the final impact on Nick Fury's swaying heart. Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Could it be? Is there really a god? And, on the blue star, Nick Fury's voice was hoarse, his eyes couldn't help but sink, and his expression became very ugly. If, Thor Thor exists, is there also a god King Odin? Besides, the legendary divine realm, Asgard, where should it be? The huge amounts of shock made Nick Fury a little doubtful about life. However, this is just the beginning. The real big news is yet to come. Director. No, it's not good. It's a talisman. The talisman of the main mission has appeared. Phil Coulson's exclamation rang in his ears. Interrupted Nick Fury's meditation. I just wanted to scold him and tell him not to make a fuss. Wasn't it because the spell appeared and the clue to the mission was discovered? It's not like fast forwarding to completing the task and distributing the task rewards. What's so exciting? But, next moment, Nick Fury raised his head, but was stunned. He looked straight at the live broadcast, his eyes almost glued to it. Turning silence into movement, have the power to give life to dead things. Hey, Jackie Chan, why is it so noisy outside? Come out and take a look. Dad can't even rest. Just as the battle between Wolverine and Captain America became more intense, the battle became more and more fierce. From the back alley to the front street, wreaking havoc along the way, Captain America gradually fell into a disadvantage. A hoarse, somewhat old voice suddenly sounded. Boom. The door opens. A tall man with thick eyebrows and big eyes was kicked out of the antique store. Huh. Hey. Is such a big battle a movie? Uncle Long who was driven out by his father with a broom, scratched his head and asked. But, soon, he sensed something was wrong. I haven't heard of it recently. There is a filming notice nearby, and whoever is filming a movie will take off the cement board on the ground. The most important is, the claws on that guy's hand don't look like props at all, but more like growing out of his body. Werewolf. Uncle Long's lips twitched. Dad. Something is wrong, there is a monster. Facing such unscientific things like werewolves, Uncle Long's face turned green and he ran away. He didn't want to be involved in a battle between monsters. Dealing with the spells related to the Holy Lord was enough to give him a headache, and Uncle Long didn't want to put any more burden on himself. He is just a weak, pitiful and helpless archaeologist. Hee <laughs> hee, you two continue to fight, just pretend you don't see me. Uncle Long showed a polite but awkward smile and his heart was about to explode, 
unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. I just planned to grease my feet and run away, wishing I could pretend that I didn't show up. But, Captain America and Wolverine's eyes turned towards him in unison. Even, even the fighting in his hands was temporarily put down. Because, in their ears, the long-lost mechanical sound finally sounded. Ding. Discover the talisman clue rat. Unlock related information. Please collect the spells as soon as possible and complete the main mission. Rat talisman. Represents the power of life, which can give life to inanimate things. It can give still life the ability to move. Hold it and you will become the creator who gives life to dead things. Note. The still life becomes an animal with self-awareness and thoughts. While turning a dead object into a living thing, it will also give it relative super ability according to its image. Below the main mission, the virtual panel extends and turns into a miniature map for guidance. The mark representing the rat talisman was suddenly right in front of them. But, compared to the sudden appearance of task clues, the power of the rat charm is obviously even more shocking. All go. Turn silence into movement. Give life to dead things. This is too outrageous. Could it be that you're trying to trick people? As the world deteriorates, system bosses will also engage in headline grabbing activities, right? This is so unscientific. Doesn't Otherworld follow the basic law? Newton's coffin will not hold up. The outrageous remarks instantly exploded on the internet. It's not just the people who eat melons who feel unreliable. Even the other superheroes, expressions are a bit complicated, and they can't help but be suspicious and have different thoughts. Ah, giving life to dead objects. It should just be a legend, just like a story in a myth. Just add a legendary color to make the treasure look more precious. In fact, it is impossible to do it. Batman frowned. The power of the T-virus can also be explained by biomodification technology. Although modern science cannot do this, it can barely foresee this technology, which is close to black technology. But, turn stillness into movement, giving life to dead things. This kind of ability that is almost like that of a creator should only exist in mythology. And in front of you, live the world in the screen. No matter how you look at it, it's just a technological world similar to ours. Superman, sitting opposite Batman, couldn't help scratching his head. Isn't this spell too bizarre? The world invaded by the system is so bizarre and exaggerated, so how terrifying is the original strength of the system? Across the ocean, Divine Spear Bureau, huge amounts of flying saucers are suspended in midair. The entire body is made of composite metal and is filled with a strong sense of future technology. 12 Spells Zi Shu In the conference room, Zheng Xian leaned on the table and stood up from his seat. He stared at the screen with a hint of horror. Actually, is it so similar to the legendary thing? Rat charm. If it is based on zodiac signs, will the remaining talismans represent the other 12 zodiac signs? Is it a treasure? Odin murmured in a low voice, his expression is calm as water. This thing is not taken seriously by him. As a god king who conquered the nine realms and whose fame was resounding throughout the universe, he had seen countless treasures. Even the infinite gems had held more than one. The power of the talisman was not taken seriously by him. But, turn silence into movement. It sounds interesting. Odin's mouth curved slightly, revealing a smile. That's right. Just fun. In Odin's eyes, the special effects of the rat talisman are only a bit strange and can be used to relieve boredom. Spell. Ancient one looked up to the sky. Through the infinite void, it's like seeing another world. One of her old friend's most powerful methods happened to be related to runes. Could it be a similar power? While Ancient One was meditating, Modu couldn't help but come over. Sorcerer Supreme, do you think this power is real? Can it really turn stillness into motion? Is the rat talisman a gimmick, or? Mordu turned to look at Ancient One and couldn't help but asked curiously. Stunt. Fact. Ancient One shook his head. There's nothing to guess, just keep reading. The truth, isn't it already being revealed? Ancient One said in a faint tone. Truth, reveal. Modu looked at the live broadcast screen, his pupils shrank, and his eyes widened instantly. Rat charm, it was activated so quickly. Logan, it's bad. In the anxious situation, Chin's voice broke the deadlock, the captain is summoning us. He must have encountered a difficult enemy. 
Unfortunately, his vital signs have begun to weaken. What? Wolverine turned her head and met Chin's panicked expression. Cyclops' sudden request for help left Chin a little overwhelmed. As the captain of the X-Men, Cyclops was not weak in strength and was even ranked high in the team. However, is it this captain who was seriously injured in a short period of time? Captain is in danger. Wolverine's expression changed, and he instinctively wanted to rescue his companions. But, in front of you, the sudden appearance of traces of spells made Wolverine hesitate, and he was faced with a decision. Not because the spell is powerful in its description, seduced by power. Rather, Professor X's request, for the future of mutant, so that they can get more opportunities in this turbulent era, they must get the mission rewards as soon as possible and board this ship of the new era. And now, the ticket for the big ship is just around the corner. The hope of fulfilling the mission is just around the corner. But, the captain is in danger. Chin's face was solemn, her anxiety was transmitted through her mental power, and Wolverine's heart also became anxious. It's now. Captain America's eyes lit up, he seized the opportunity and rushed out instantly. Wolverine has the choice to hesitation. But, he won't. Although the factions involved in the system mission still don't understand what's going on, the unexpected rat charm is one of the keys to completing the mission. Captain America will definitely not miss the clue that is so close at hand. You can't go wrong by collecting as many 12 talismans as you can. X-Men's hesitation is just an opportunity. Captain America, who has excellent timing, instantly found a way to break the situation and rushed towards the antique store. The rat charm is inside. Get out of the way, don't stop me. Captain America frowned and raised his shield. Just as he was approaching the location of the rat talisman and was about to find his target, a tall figure stopped in front of him. Tall and strong, with short hair, wearing a blue sweater, and a righteous Chinese face, he is a standard oriental image. Like, it's Uncle Long. Hey, buddy, listen to me. I can't let you rush in like this. If you go on a rampage and damage dad's antiques, he will definitely scold me to death. Uncle Long stood up with a bitter smile. Get into a fighting stance. Get out of the way. Captain America put away the vibranium shield and used his right hand to push. There was no violent impact, but he wanted Uncle Long to retreat before the difficulties. He did not want to hurt his opponent. Bullying the weak was never his style. This should. Just an ordinary person. Captain America didn't feel threatened by Uncle Long, and his strength was very ordinary. He seemed to be just an ordinary person. But, when he handed it over, he discovered that he was wrong, and how wrong he was. Wow. Various parts and props fell to the ground. Uncle Long, whom Captain America thought was just an ordinary person, showed unimaginable fighting power during the fight. Obviously the strength is not outstanding. But. His movements were as silky as if he had eaten dove, and his whole body was like a cunning loach, constantly jumping back and forth in the mud. Various ornaments, lamps, and decorations had become weapons in his hands. The shelves, sofas, and even the ceiling, became his way of moving. Even Captain America, a veteran of World War II, can only say that the flashy fighting style is amazing. The actual combat effect is also amazing. He blocked Captain America forcefully, preventing him from making any progress. His flexible body skills were even more difficult to deal with than a loach. Every time he faced a crisis, he was able to use his genius to make a sudden comeback. You can't win, you can't win at all. Captain America felt like he had met a quill and had no idea where to start. Even, still a little confused. You can never guess where Uncle Long's attack comes from, let alone what his weapon is. The unorthodox attack stunned him. In the furniture city. No one can beat Uncle Long. Super soldiers are powerful, but obviously not more than human. As long as there are enough clutter and room to move around, that's Uncle Long's home court. Something's wrong. That guy is weird. After Wolverine came back to his senses, they were quickly attracted by the fighting that broke out couldn't help but look over. His brows were furrowed and his expression became a little solemn. With Captain America's strength, he can easily deal with ordinary people. Even he himself has felt the pressure in battle. Captain America is 50-50, and that's not just talk. However, Captain America was unexpectedly defeated in this battle. Chin, you go help the captain. 
Wolverine finally made a decision at the critical moment, leave this to me. The search for the talisman is related to the main mission, and we must not let it go. Yes, Chin nodded heavily and quickly retreated, heading in the direction of Cyclops. Procrastination is not their style. Spell. Wolverine's eyes darkened, and he rushed forward with a single stride, entering the battlefield forcefully. He cares more about Uncle Long, who is tied with Captain America, than Captain America. Get rid of this weird guy first. A sharp look flashed in Wolverine's eyes, and he made up his mind to lock onto his opponent instantly. Base. The claw pops out. Crossing his hands and swiping outward, six sharp slashes suddenly burst out in the air. Tough luck. Tough luck. Tough luck. The fight with Captain America was already very difficult for him. He only managed to hold him back by throwing various objects around and using his flexible and strong body skills. Result. One hasn't been solved yet, and another one comes out. He rolled around on a donkey and hurriedly avoided the attack. When he stood up again, the clothes in front of him had become torn by the wind, and a few rags were swaying in the wind, looking miserable. Inexplicably, Uncle Long's face turned green as he was regarded as an opponent by two Superman types. Especially, when the corner of his eye inadvertently glanced behind the corner of the stairs. The figure that appeared at the corner of the stairs made him even more desperate, and he was about to break out in a cold sweat. Xiao Yu, it's dangerous here, why are you running out? Uncle Long shouted at the top of his lungs, his voice breaking immediately. Little girl. Captain America looked at the figure at the corner of the stairs. He quickly ducked in front of Xiao Yu and helped her block the aftermath of the splashing gravel. Protecting the weak is Captain America's instinct. Also at the moment, the system prompt sounded frequently. Ding. Contact key nodes, dragon group, trigger camp selection. Righteousness. Join Uncle Long's side, collect 12 talismans, seal the darkness again, and repair the imbalanced balance of good and evil. Demon energy. Join the Holy Lord's side, collect 12 talismans, help the Holy Lord get rid of the seal, and let the magic emperor who once ruled the world rule the world again. Please select the camp you want to join. Good Chi, Devil Chi. Good. Demonic. Captain America scratched his head. Although the pros and cons of both sides' positions are not clear yet, Captain America, who has a golden spirit, still decisively chose righteousness. He but partners of justice, how could he be associated with demonic energy? Whoever made the latter sound like a villain. Just after Captain America made the choice without thinking. In my ears, the beep sounded again. Ding. Side mission, good evil choice, completed. Reward, 500 points. Please note, only when this camp wins the final victory, the recruiter can obtain the main mission reward. Note 1, once the camp is selected, it cannot be changed. Note 2. 12 talismans contain powerful power. Collecting talismans can greatly enhance the strength of the camp and increase the probability of winning. Personal rewards will also be distributed according to the number of talismans collected. Righteousness, 0 twelfths. Demon energy, 0 twelfths. Personal collection, none. Hiss. 500. Wolverine couldn't help but gasp. To know. Tony. Black Widow, and the others struggled to complete a side mission and only got so few points. With a mission evaluation, they can all be redeemed for T-Virus transformation. Captain America nodded and gave it away for free. However, faced with this kind of reward, which can be called free prostitution, Wolverine was hesitated. Faction selection. Judging from the system prompts, this is related to the overall situation. Once the camp is chosen incorrectly, all the hard work will be in vain. Only, the winning party will get the reward. Loser. Eat dust. That is to say, if you want to be a winner and get system rewards, you must ensure that you are in the winning camp. Otherwise, no matter how many charms you collect, they can only be used as wedding clothes for others. In the righteous camp, Uncle Long and Xiao Yu seemed to be too weak, and Wolverine did not dare to make a choice easily carrying the hope of mutant. For him, the choice is far less easy than Captain America. Just when he was struggling, Xiao Yu on the stairs finally came down. HMPH. I'm definitely here to save you. You guys actually dare to bully Uncle Long, let me show you how powerful Xiao Yu is. Xiao Yu raised her head arrogantly, 
raised her right hand, and in the palm of her hand, a stone amulet glowed. In the center of the amulet, there is a pattern outlined with lines, and it can be vaguely seen as a mouse. Rat charm, Captain America and Wolverine said in unison. Such an obvious pattern is too easy for people to associate with it. Mission clue found. Wolverine's eyes lit up, and he immediately decided to strike first. Compared with 500 points, the value of the rat talisman is obviously higher, and the latter is the key to completing the main mission. Pity. Still a moment too late. Xiao Yu, who was holding the rat talisman, had already poured the power of the talisman into the doll in her hand. Yo yo. Operation Moose. Super Moose, go, go, go. The doll, sewn from coarse cloth, stumbled and flew up, as if it had been infused with life and resurrected. It's the children's righteous partner, Super Moose. The moose charges up with its hand hand iron fist, which looks a little funny, but when you actually fight, you will find out how powerful it is. A seemingly ordinary fist is extremely powerful, comparable to a high speed train. Not to mention it can fly. The dexterity is amazing. That is to say, the flight height is limited indoors, otherwise it will be more difficult to deal with. It wasn't until Wolverine adapted to its attacks that the situation began to improve. The moose was very strong, but its combat methods were simple and it was too easy to be targeted. It's now. Stab. The claws flashed in the air. The doll's belly was cut open, and colorful candies spilled out. The poor super moose was disemboweled. Oh ha ha. My belly is full of sugar. The super moose who fell next to Xiao Yu said the last words pitifully. The moose tilted its head and fainted. After the power to turn stillness into movement disappeared, the super moose, which had lived a short life, became a doll again. Holding the remaining half of the doll, Xiao Yu was very angry, and the consequences were serious. The moose was no match. So, what if it was him who was resurrected? The dazzling white light bloomed in Xiao Yu's palm again. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.